Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well for today's valued viewer request. New from Slow Hornet. Can you demonstrate the pyramid, pirouette maneuver in the Hornet? Not sure if it's even possible in DCS, but at least I would like to understand how the maneuver looks. Never fully understood it. It seems to be very effective in maneuver fights. So the first thing to say is that Wags, Super Wags has already done a video on this and I don't want to be accused of copying him. So what we're going to show is how to do the maneuver, but we're going to show it in the context of how it could possibly help in a dogfight. The idea of the pirouette is that we use the amazing ability of the Hornet, which it has above all of its contemporary fighters pretty much, of his ability to maneuver and stay stable and controllable at low speeds. That's the feather in the Hornet's cap that it can use over other aircraft. And we'll use it in this pirouette maneuver to outsmart a hostile plane. First of all, I'll explain how to do the pirouette maneuver. And that is with a speed of around 400 knots, we're going to pull vertical up. After two or three seconds of traveling up, we're going to come off the gas, not fully, but about 50 to 70 percent and maintain it there because we want our pirouette to be as slow as possible to create the smallest radius pirouette we can. Full aft stick to stall the plane over, all the way over and then back up right again. And we want to get the highest angle of attack that we can get. The angle of attack we can see there currently two degrees. We want to get that all the way up to 40 plus degrees. Once we're around that figure, then we're going to do full rudder, either left or right, depending on the fight, depending which we, way we want to pirouette. At the same time, we'll also, as well as holding full aft stick, introduce aileron left or right to match the rudder. That is going to produce an upright diving pirouette that allows us to turn actually relatively quickly and track our target while essentially not moving. We're essentially going to be coming down through the sky and just spinning left or spinning right to track a target. And the example we're going to show here where it could be useful. I'm going to merge with RC. RC is just ahead of me by seven miles. He's going to go into a left circle fight from his point of view at his normal turn speed and with his burners on and so on. I'm going to go up into the pirouette. I'm going to aft zip. I'm going to stall and then I'm going to boot left rudder because he's in a left circle so I have to match him remember and I'm left aileron full aft stick and that is going to allow me to still track left at a decent turn rate find him with my helmet mounted display and get the hob off as quickly as I can I'll try and describe it as best I can you can see my controls at the bottom left there and we're going to merge burner on to get some upwards momentum I'm going to watch him to see what he does he's going to do a left circle i'm going to go up just for a few seconds i need that extra height and off the power whoops my controls are gone and full up stick and look watch the angle of attack watch the angle of attack watch the angle of attack and left boot rudder left aileron now i'm going to i'm in a stall now but it's controlled by the avionics of the aircraft so it is controlled and look for him there he is it's all off a bit delayed by me and that should, there we get him. Boom. Power on, nose down, neutralizes the controls, and we can fly off to fight another day. So just to reiterate, we did this with a merge. The hostile went into a turn fight. I saw which way he turned. I went over at the top. I pirouetted with a purposeful stall. Then on the pirouette down leg, I made sure I track with left rudder and left aileron and full aft it the same way that he was going once i re reacquired visual and you will have to reacquire visual because going over and keeping your eyes on the target is pretty much impossible then i can turn at a better turn rate than he can even though i'm going down left like this uh, get the hob off in a, a normal acm fashion if i've done this from low altitude then i've just got to make sure i get enough of the up leg to make sure that everyone will recover and because of the low speed handling and the fly-by-wire dynamics of this plane recovery just takes a couple of seconds just really just neutralize the stick and it's all done for you if you still can't then remember you've got your anti-spin recovery there but you'll never actually need it it's such a controlled plane that's all i'm going to show i hope that was useful and i'll see you later